are in creative zone. So our guest yes, please, today yes. is someone whose uh, infectious energy and passion not just creates great creative work but also strong creative teams. We are pleased to welcome today Surjo Dutt, the National Creative Director of FCB Yolka. Uh, Surjo has done some amazing award-winning work for uh, British Airways and for Nestle. He spent over 15 years at JWT where he started his career and he joined uh, FCB at around uh, on, uh, 2016. At around 2016. So um, we are pleased to have you with us today. And um, we'd love to speak to you about creating through crisis and how you manage uh, putting out work for uh, brands across different categories like uh, Domino's, Holics, etc. So first we want to understand from you how the entire concept of, uh, you know, like creative concepting has changed post lockdown. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, uh, Creative concepts at the very core hasn't changed. What has definitely changed is um, we have to now keep in mind circumstances and ground realities, especially when it comes to shooting audiovisual stuff, whether it is a television commercial or a digital campaign. So keeping in mind executional limitations and realities while creating an idea is the big thing that has changed. So now for, for some time to come, I don't think we can think of, of ideas without thinking of how we are going to execute given the reality and given the uh, environment in which we live now. So that's the big change. Right. It's like, you know, you, you, you go out to bat knowing that it's a really difficult wicket. So the plan is very different. Super. So I also want to speak to you about your uh, work for uh, Domino's. So, you know, since, you know, with the remote shooting and all that, uh, how was that uh, entire commercial shot? How, how was the entire commercial shot? Uh, and it had lovely expressions, like it was uh, emoted beautifully also. So that, how did you pull that off, that entire uh, shooting remotely thing? Well, to tell you honestly, whether it's Domino's or any other work that has been put together during this COVID time, it is extremely challenging. From footage, to post-production, to music, to final computer graphics, everything is, is, a, is a really, really challenging task. And, uh, you know, it's the, the, the realities of doing this kind of work are completely different from what I'm calling the pre-COVID era. Right. Nobody, nobody is, uh, we, we can't all gather together. We can't be in studios. We can't oversee a lot of things collectively. Lots of, um, there are lots of restrictions, obviously. So the entire creative process becomes quite, uh, the creation process, not the creative process, the creation process becomes very, very challenging. And uh, I must say on, a, on an emotional level, the great thrill and enjoyment and camaraderie and creative uh, coming together that we used to get before on shoots or when we went in to execute, that has now changed completely. It's, um, it's, it's, it's really hard is all I can tell you. So tell me, how have your clients approached this? I must say that all our clients, whether it is Unilever, whether it is Domino's or any other clients of ours, they have been extremely understanding. They have been extremely understanding and extremely mature. There have been no unreasonable demands 
made to the agency with regard to shoots there has been a a huge amount of understanding and i and i say that i say that very very honestly every meeting every pre production meeting i have been a part of or every script narration every idea narration meeting i have been a part of has always begun with our client saying we understand new realities and we understand the restrictions agencies are working under as creators so i would say very understanding really really understanding i think it it's a pretty uh, uh, i think it's it's a great commentary on the maturity of marketing teams in india because it's all very well to say that uh, you know i don't care how you do it get it done in this manner in a certain manner but i'm happy to tell you nobody said that nobody right so tell me at a personal level how is it creating amit's remote captivity because you belong no. to a world where you know your there's a lot of uh, personal interaction a lot of banter sitting over tea and coffee and you know like team chemistry so coming from that world to this you know i i get asked this a lot and i i think i think there is one really important thing here for us to understand just because an industry or a bunch of people have proven themselves in different things doesn't mean they enjoy it so it's these are two separate things i think people tend to i don't know why people seem to think that if something is being done well it must be enjoyable right i beg to differ i think one truth is that the advertising industry and not just our agency all agencies they have done a superb job in adapting to this new reality and in creating at the levels we are creating at while that is one truth the other truth and this is my hypothesis i certainly do not enjoy it most creative people certainly do not enjoy it for all the reasons that you spoke about and my hypothesis would be that uh, most creative people in other agencies also would would say it's more challenging than enjoyable right so you pick the old abnormal or the new normal there's nothing i'm i'm i i don't like this term what is normal about what's happening right now right there is nothing normal this is a crisis there is right. this is not a new normal this is a crisis this is a continuously unfolding ongoing crisis in which we are creating advertising mm-hmm. i think normal is a wrong word to mm-hmm. use here so for me i think all power to all of us for the way we have dealt with the crisis but it is it is nothing there is nothing normal about it nothing very well put up finally somebody said i am glad so uh, this entire scenario has also brought in a great deal of upheaval in the baby world so where do you see where do you see the green shoots of opportunity for example i see a couple of things like i see so many creatives now doing work on their own then i see a lot of integration across teams somebody sitting from your somewhere working with the team in chicago or the team in you know london so i see a couple of uh, opportunities and you know things that have happened for good where do you see the good here you i think if you look at it through the filter of creating in adversity if you apply that filter and that filter only then the list of positives is endless in in the and you touched upon people connecting from all over the world virtually to make something come together you know you uh, we have found new 
new ways of creating advertising with phones, using existing footage, using animation, using graphics, all of that and being sharp about it yet and you know being strategically right and yet um, executionally trying to engage and entertain in with with our with one hand tied behind our back so that way i think all in all reactions in 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 difficult times if we have to look at it through that filter it's been just amazing full of positives full but again maybe i'm uh, in a minority here i i don't know what what what, what long term gains we are going to get from this i i really don't know i i also don't feel confident enough to name any because we are squarely in the middle of a crisis right now mm. and everything my agency is doing it's, it's squarely focused on how we can create the best best communication for our client in trying circumstances when uh, when this crisis blows over then we'll maybe sit back and see so i okay, also great. want to speak to you about flattening the curve that fcb you know did and how it fits in the how it fits in the picture and you know what was really the starting point and working on that yeah that's one another campaign we are so proud of flatten the curve was born as a static digital campaign it was born as static posts and you know when the team came up with this campaign we all of us felt that this is such a beautifully simple way to deliver such an important message that we we were very very excited right from the beginning and then our our chief creative officer she reached out to the un aids office in geneva and this campaign was sent to them and they liked this campaign so much they found it so simple and so uh, useful and such a helpful campaign that they uh, they launched it uh, on easter weekend on all their social media handles it was primarily targeted at europe because at that point of time a lot of people in europe were were thinking of taking advantage of the good weather and stepping out and right. therefore the una team felt that this would be very very relevant at that moment and it got released to tremendous response and then we felt that you know if this is if this has come out so beautifully in static why can't we convert them in, uh, convert this into a film and um, fuel content is our internal content creation company it's a company owned by fcb right so fuel content then collaborated with the fcb ulka creative team to come up with this to turn this um, static campaign into a film so the the campaign was converted into a film and it was sent to the un aids team in geneva one day later they had released it it was on their social media handle it was on twitter it was on facebook it was just um i think i'd be right in saying that they 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 loved it enough to release it the next day that's amazing and that makes us very very proud as fcb to create a campaign that is helpful educative yet so engaging and again just we we um look at the way it's executed there is no shoot it's all graphics the music is created and then the whole piece is put together and uh, look at you know it's just as as everybody says if there is a good idea and a good campaign it travels all over the world like this one day right i i loved it too
Thank so lastly, you. Thank I'd you. like to like you to also leave out a message to creatives on creating amidst adversity because these are trying times. There's a stream of dreadful news affecting our lives. There's so much media fatigue, and in fact, people tell me that it's getting tougher because there is more work from home than it was before. So, uh, what would be your message to creatives on creating amidst constraints and adversity? Well, I, I think not losing hope and, you know, proceeding forward bravely is the only way to go. And I also absolutely want to say one thing. I want every creative person, every, not just creative, every advertising person who is seeing this to take a little time to congratulate themselves. Please take a little time to tell yourself how good a job you are doing because only we know how difficult it is and while uh, it's, it's, it's easy to say that, okay, the job is done, let's move on. I think taking a moment to feel a sense of pride and feel a sense of achievement with every piece of work serves as, will serve as great motivation. I do it every time we put out a campaign during this time. I tell the whole team to take a moment and say well done and look into a mirror and say well done because it's 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 really important it's very very important i think we we do ourselves a great disservice by not appreciating and not giving ourselves enough credit we just keep keep moving and keep moving and keep moving but we must we must say well done to ourselves absolutely so thank you so much for your time and for this very candid conversation. We enjoyed chatting with you. Thank you so thank much. You. Take care. Stay safe, stay connected. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.